Hello, my friends. Hello, my colleagues. Uh, I have another presentation for you about the prevention of migraine. And today we're going to talk about the clinical use of uh, Ernomab monoclonal antibody, which is available commercially uh, under the trade name Eomovic for the prevention of migraine. Now, uh, we talked previously about migraine and we will repeat uh, the information. Uh, migraine is a neurological disorder and it could be associated with many manifestations like severe unilateral headache, nausea, photophobia, which is known as light sensitivity, and some patients may suffer from phonophobia, which is sound sensitivity. They become irritable to light or to sound and also some patients may have trouble speaking. Now, we have two kinds of uh, migraine attacks, the episodic migraine attacks. Here the patients suffer from headache or migraine uh, uh, less than 15 days per month. And the chronic migraine attacks, here the patients suffer from at least 15 headache days per month, and out of the 15, the patient will have at least eight migraine days. And this usually happens over a period of three months, of at least three months. Now, erinomab or Imovig is a monoclonal antibody directed against the calcitonin gene-related peptide, and it is an antagonist to this peptide. It blocks the effect of the CGRP. Now, when the calcitonin gene-related peptide is elevated, uh, this can induce inflammation and vasodilation, and this will lead ultimately to the development of migraine attacks. Now, Amovic has been approved by the FDA to prevent both episod episodic migraine and chronic migraine attacks. Uh, now, Amovic is recommended for patients who are unable to reduce the monthly migraine attacks with other medications. And also, Amovic is recommended for patients who cannot take other migraine medication because of the side effect or due to drug-drug interactions. Now, Amovic sometimes is used for other indications. However, these indications have not been approved by the FDA, but some clinicians, uh, they use them and we call them off-label unapproved indications or uses. Like, for example, some clinicians may use uh, Amovic to prevent the cluster headaches or to prevent vestibular headaches or to treat vestibular uh, uh, headaches, either to prevent or treat vestibular headaches. Uh, again, these are unapproved by the FDA, but still some clinician may uh, recommend them. Now, Amovic is usually used at a monthly dose of 70 milligram subcutaneously or 140 milligram subcutaneously. Uh, most clinicians start with 70 milligram and later on may increase the dose to 140 milligram subcutaneously every month. Uh, this is an image of Amovic. It is a pen and it can be easily used by the patient. Of course, the patient he is uh, needs training either by the clinician or by the pharmacist to show how to inject with this pen. Now, the common side effect uh, for Amovig uh, include redness or itching or pain at the injection site, and some patients may suffer from constipation and others may suffer from muscle cramps or muscle spasm. Now, the uncommon serious side effect could include a severe allergic reaction, weight loss, or weight gain. Now, 
the long-term side effect of Imovig may include back pain, upper respiratory tract infections, and some patients may suffer from flu-like symptoms. Now, Imovig does not interact with alcohol, but alcohol is not recommended for patients suffering from migraine because it could be one of the triggers for the migraine attack. Uh, also, Amovic so far does not interact with other medication. It is a new medication. Uh, we don't have reports about drug drug interaction with Amovic. Now, regarding the safety in a pregnancy is still unknown. Uh, and also the safety in breastfeeding is still unknown. We do not have any data to confirm the safety in a pregnancy or a breastfeeding. Uh, so it is not recommended to be used for pregnant women and for breastfeeding ladies. Uh, Amovic injection or pain is usually stored in the fridge at a temperature between 2 to 8 degrees centigrade and it must be used within seven days if the pain or the injection is taken out of the fridge so the bottom line of this uh, seminar uh, Ernomab uh, which is known as Amovig is relatively safe and effective at a dose of 70 milligram or 140 milligram subcutaneously uh, monthly to decrease the frequency of episodic or chronic migraine attacks thank you very much for listening and watching and hope to see you again soon